Hi, my name is Scott Simpson and today we'll be talking about ionic bonds. So ionic bonds commonly occur through um, when a non-metal and a metal bond with one another. And this is considered an electrostatic interaction. What is meant by the term of electrostatic is you have something like point charges and you have a positively charged point charge and a negatively charged point charge. So let's call this our negative point charge and then this guy over here, our positive point charge. And what happens is, is there's an attraction between the two. So this is what's termed by electrostatic. Now let's get into a more chemical um, example of this. Let's look at something like sodium chloride. So sodium chloride is also known as table salt. And note that these are not drawn to scale. We'll talk um, about atomic orbitals in a, or I mean, yeah, atomic orbitals in a different uh, YouTube tutorial, and we'll also talk about atomic radii in a different tutorial. So for now, let's just concern ourselves with the ionic bonding that's going on in this situation. So from periodic trends, we know that sodium is much less electronegative than chlorine. Since we have this difference in electronegativity, what ends up happening is, is all the electrons tend to go over to the chlorine and we're left with a positive charge on the sodium. So a way you can think about this is instead of in an ionic, or I mean in a covalent bond where the electrons are shared, what actually occurs is the electrons are essentially donated completely to what they call the anion, or the negatively charged species. So what ends up happening is we get our sodium to become a cation, which is a positively charged um, species, and our chlorine becomes negative, which is our anion. And oftentimes these are drawn with brackets around them. And most of the time these compounds are Sorry, I have something in my head. Are um, solids at room temperature and pressure. So, the difference between covalency, or co covalent bonds and ionic bonds is that ionic bonds, the electrons are pretty much donated to one side. And in covalent bonds, they're shared. Also, in covalent bonds, you usually have nonmetals that are bonding together. In ionic bonds, you usually have a metal and a non-metal bonding. Well, I hope that helps explain what ionic bonds are. Um, this is a pretty short tutorial. It would be a good idea to also go and review what covalent bonds are. Thank you very much, and if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them below. Thank you.